Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've been discussing the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and so far we've talked about reconciliation, baptism, the Eucharist, and confirmation. Now, the sacrament of matrimony, also known as marriage. Specifically, what is marriage, and how does it work? When two Catholics, a man and a woman, agree to spend the rest of their lives together and to raise a family together, that's what the sacrament of matrimony is for. This sacrament unites a man and a woman together until one or both of them dies. No person or group of people can undo this act. Nothing can break this union except death. Ever. When these people agree to marry, there are certain laws that need to be followed, and the marriage will need to be carried out by a priest. Often this is done with a full Mass, called the Nuptial Mass, which is how it ought to be done if at all possible, but the sacrament is still valid even without it. This is one sacrament that requires little in the way of description. We've all seen the various things that make up a typical marriage, the bride, the groom, the wedding attire, the rings, and so on, but the real requirements for a marriage aren't as expensive as all that. The priest just has to perform the sacrament, and the couple has to participate in the wedding, exchange wedding vows, and yes, say, I do, or its equivalent in whatever language they speak. At that point, the two of them vow to stay together for the rest of their lives, and God also vows to keep them together, blessing the marriage, and making it as permanent as they are. They should also comply with all the laws of the church related to marriage, or else it would be an unlawful marriage, and marrying unlawfully is a serious sin, which can be mortal. The man and woman can only be lawfully united in the sacrament of matrimony. So if it's not matrimony, or not a sacrament, it would be sinful. The only exception to this would be before marriage became a sacrament, when it was just a contract between two people. Like all sacraments, marriage wasn't always around as a sacrament. The whole nature of the marriage contract between the man and woman is about surrendering their bodies to each other, declaring it, and taking each other for husband and wife for the rest of their lives. The main purposes of marriage are to assist the two in helping each other reach heaven, to bear children, to carry on the service of God in the world, and to prevent sins against virtue, the way St. Paul describes when he says, But if they do not contain themselves, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to be burnt. 1 Corinthians 7.9 Marriage first came into existence in the Garden of Eden, when God created Adam and Eve and made them husband and wife. But it wasn't a sacrament at the time, because their union didn't provide any special graces. The precise time when it became a sacrament is unknown, but it was sometime during New Testament times, since we have records of the apostles and their successors treating marriage as a sacrament in response to the teachings of Jesus. A person can also be married more than once in their life, but only if their first spouse dies and they know for certain that they're dead. Next time, what kinds of things can invalidate a marriage? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.